Hello? Are we live? I think we're live. I'm pretty sure we're live. I, I'm like 99% sure we're live. I'm pretty sure... Oh, hold on. Maybe it's because it's not noon yet? Almost. I, I think there's like a few seconds before, before it's noon. Oh, there we go. It's high noon. At least where I live. <laughs> I'm sure it's almost midnight everywhere else. Well, obviously not everywhere else, but like, you know. And, and it's midnight somewhere. That's the old saying. Um, is it working? I don't know. Let me double check. Just, uh, let me double check. No harm in checking double. Okay, it's working. It's working. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Oh, it's Vixana. Hello. A lot of familiar faces. How are y'all? Okay, uh, so I want to get this done in less than... Or in about two hours. And there's there's quite a lot of stuff going on here. I don't know how much this is relative to the other... <laughs> the, to the weapons tier list, but there's this a lot of junk going on here. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, y'all? Hello, manual. Uh, but yeah, f first of all, before before we go anywhere... As a resident stan of Luckring, I feel like this is just like I've I've hyped up Luckring for my entire career, and it'd be wrong to not put it anywhere other than S tier. Simple scale like weapons, true. Yeah, you don't have. There's no real metric. You can't be like, oh, this is a wooden sword plus one. <laughs> Yo, gaming. Uh, but yeah, Luck Luckring. I mean, everyone knows why Luckring is good, right? Because because in this game, usually the higher rarity something is, the better it is. You know, it sort of makes sense. So increasing your chances of getting something higher rarity makes you run better, right? Like, that's simple logic. It's one to... T yeah, thank you. Exactly. So so it's it's got to be S tier because it enables so much more, you know? All right, I do have the game open also. I, th I think it might... Oh no, you can still see the, the, the window while I go over to the game. Uh, make sure everything's fine. Okay, so I can I can check the atlas, double check anything if I need to. Okay, we're good. Oh ho ho. Yeah, I've I've improved the the back end of the stream, so now we can Oh, look at that transition. Ooh. Alright. <laughs> alright, alright. That took me like five minutes. I probably should have done that last stream, but anyways. Moving on. Uh, now do we just want to go alphabetical? I mean, are there any obvious hits? Any obvious... I mean, just... You j just just looking at it. Poison Bubble, I think, deserves to be an S tier also. I think, I think easily. Poison Bubble is so incredibly powerful for being uncommon like it makes no sense you can make poison bubble legendary and it'd be like yeah that makes sense like insane oh the heart gem too is that what you're talking about oh uh okay 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 but the, these these two are, are the standouts these are like s plus if i made an s plus tier the, the, that's where they would live because holy cannoli uh, apart from that, let's see. What what what's a what's a good F tier? What, what's an what's an F tier accessory just for scale, just for reference? I don't know. Maybe something like. Hmm. I mean, F tier would have to be like actively detrimental, you know. What's it's, it's, uh, uh, ba, ba, I mean, all the, you're always happy to see some of these accessories. Oh, you know, I mean, it's for the horseshoe. Oh, I thought I doubled. Oh, is shortcut not shortcut map not on here? I knew I missed something. I was looking through the accessories in game. I was just double checking to make sure I had everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of the ghostly items too. Hold on, hold on. I don't have. How do I not have freaking shortcut map? Right? Does anyone see shortcut map here? I don't think I see shortcut map. It's an accessory, right? Like it has to be. That is true. The horseshoe does curse you constantly and unless that's what your build does it's just bad yeah it is it is cumbersome too to boot to rub salt in the wound they could have made this one space and it would have been fine probably i don't know 
There aren't too many runs that exploit curses. I mean, some runs would benefit greatly from having like a, like, what's the curse crown? The spiky crown? That one's, that's a pretty good curse, but. Apart from that. Uh. Yeah, there's, there's definitely no shortcut map. Okay, hold on. Let, let me, let me pull up shortcut map. We have to pull up shortcut map. We must. Uh. I thought a discussion. Uh, question wiki. Ba, 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 ba. Hold on, I forget where. Oh, is it there? Here we go. Oh, my, my Discord just disconnected. Oh, are we still live? Is everything? Did it break? Oh, my Discord's been having problems lately. It's scaring me. Okay, uh, are, are we still here? Are we still here? Uh, shortcut map. Here we go. Uh, let's see, put this in the proper folder. Booyah. And then I'll bring you guys over to the other screen while I mess with this. Uh, let's see, let's see. Blam. Uh. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. It's in. The curse ring is one thing. Oh, uh, I didn't put the, the curses in here. Because I, I know I did the cursed weapons, but I wanted to, to save the curses for their own... Uh, list. I was thinking of doing like blessings and curses all in one go, along with maybe some other stuff because that's a pretty short list. But anyway, shortcut map, probably the worst item you could possibly find. You see that in the shop and you're like, oh no, that could have been a cool legendary I could have paid 17 or $35 for. And it's just a huge bummer. It just, it's just big stink all around. Anyways, uh, let's move on to some of these. Uh, Let's just run down the list. All right, Amethyst. Amethyst is pretty good. I feel like it's hard for a gem to be less than A tier. You're always happy to see it. Well, you're usually always happy to see it, unless you're like Satchel, you know? You're, you're like Satchel and you don't have any weapons or some, some stuff, but usually if you get like an early gem, you're like, oh wow, my wooden sword suddenly does nine damage. Could you imagine? That is true. You know what? We'll put it higher in the F tier. I am also always bummed to see it, so it, I feel like it does belong down here. <laughs> I'm not budging past F tier. No matter what anyone says, my own mother could come up to me and be like, ah, move. And my mother isn't this old, but I'm just doing an old lady voice. Uh, ah, well, you move the shortcut map up a tier. I'll be like, no, shut up. <laughs> go, go back to where you came from. <laughs> Anyways. Sapphire is B tier. Oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah, Sapphire is A, a pain in the ass to use, and B only gives plus one damage. It gives the minimum amount of bonus. Yeah. But it's not harmful. Correct. Yeah. Uh, Amethyst Buckler, though. Amethyst Buckler gives less than... Uh... It gives less than Amethyst Buckler. It gives less than Amethyst, right? It's not just a straight upgrade? Yeah. So it's half of Amethyst, but it also doubles as a, sh as a kind of bad shield. How many Forge Slots does it have? It has zero Forge Slots. Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello, Chuck. It's really buggy. <laughs> no, optional bad. Yeah, the 17 gold is just... It, it's its far and above the better option in the current game state. Is absolutely correct. And full Lil... Oh, it is a full Lil Buckler. So you know what? I'm, I'm inclined to give it, like, top of B. Well, it could hit multiple things, unlike Sapphire. Oh, I'm thinking Sapphire maybe goes down to C. I'm looking at this. Hold on, Emmanuel Citrine is S tier. I'm inclined to agree with you. It is uncommon, and it gives, like, one of the highest bonuses, save, like, Ruby. 
which is a legendary. So I, I think I think Citrine can go here. I like Citrine here. Citrine is always a great find. It's a bad shield that's an okay gem, yeah. Yeah, in a pinch you could use it as a shield, but that I think that that's that's worth considering, but I, th I think I like B because if you have like shivs or something, if that's what you're rocking, you know, having a smaller shield lets you put another shiv in there. I don't know. I, I don't really use amethyst buckler all that much. I mostly use it as a uh, as a gem. I mean, if you find it on crate or something, it's nice. Is it though? You probably have a better shield, but no, I I, I like that it's a one slash shield. I like a buckler. Can actually be rotated. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think they did a good job with the sprite. Like, it's it's very pointy, you know. That's the whole thing. Ghost gem bad. Uh, I mean, ghost gem can give. I mean, it requires a lot of work to get there. The ghost gem requires a lot of work, but it could potentially give you like freaking. Plus nine damage, right? It can theoretically theoretically give you like the highest damage bonus, like any gem, right? Because let's see, what what if you had? Because it's never gonna be fully, unless you have ghostly stuff. Hold on, unless you have a ghostly weapon, but then it doesn't get affected by the crystal, anyways. Hold on, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, but it can give you like what four plus like seven, like eleven damage. But anyways, uh, Ghost Gem, I, th I, th I think I like Ghost Gem. It does require you to have empty spaces in your bag, which, you know, empty spaces, I mean, you could usually have just good items in those spaces, at the very least, like some armor. So it does require you making some sacrifices, but I think, I think it's pretty all right. I, th I think I'm... Would I rather see it over an amethyst? Oh, the ghost gem. Oh, you you mean this one, the spectral orb. This thing kind of stinks. The fact that it isn't ghostly is vile. Ghost gem is, I mean, it's, it's very strong. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is just a lot of raw stats, and it's hard to argue with raw stats in a lot. I think you're right. I, th I think S tier is a nice home. Yeah. The, oh, hold, on, hold on. Is there another ghost gem? Is there another other ghost gem? Empty space like with arrows. True. Yes, with arrows, it is incredibly good. Oh, you meant the crystal? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Spectral Orb certainly feels bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's my thought. It, it should be ghostly, but then if it was ghostly, it wouldn't interact with the... It wouldn't affect the other items? Is that is that the design issue they ran into? Right? I mean, I've, I've had a use or two for Ghost Jet. Or for the Spectral Orb. Sorry, David. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you, thank you. I know it's late. Over in over in Europe. Thank you guys for stopping by. Regardless, next time I'll try to make it even uh, earlier. Hopefully, try to make it e an hour earlier, even. And that should be that should be a little better. I, I know it is very late over there, though. Uh, okay, yeah, but I mean, what 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 use did I have for spectral? I had I used it to make empty space for like arrows. I think. They just can't be affected. That's right. I think I think the ghostly mechanic kind of. I feel like there aren't a, there isn't a critical mass of ghostly items or items that benefit from being ghostly, to like justify these items. Yeah, they just can't receive. So why isn't this thing ghostly? Come on, it's legendary. You gonna tell me they can't make it ghostly? It cuts into the power too much. Ah, uh, come on. All right. Anyways, are there any other gems? Uh, lightning gem. I I really like. Probably not as good as Amethyst. It's only plus one damage, but if you got the right setup, you could get like plus one to. It, it's really good if you're doing like engine wand nonsense, mostly. If you have like a wand situation going on. 
Uh, Emerald is straight up weaker than Amethyst because a backpack doesn't have as many uh, rows as it does columns. This this is just fact. This is just this is just numbers. This is just raw numbers. Uh, Pearl is very good. Uh, do I like it more than Citrine? Probably. Pearl Pearl is really good. What does it give? Plus four? Does it give plus four? If it gives plus four, it, it's going into S tier. But uh, Pearl, sweet mother of. Oh yeah, plus four damage. Are you kidding me? You get like two, three weapons. That's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Okay. Apart from that, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, more, more gems, more gems. Well, while we're doing the gems, I mean, Ruby. Is Ruby just pearl, but rarer? Hold on, hold on. Because didn't Ruby also give plus four adjacent? Oh, that's <laughs> wait. Ruby kind of stinks compared to Pearl. What the heck? Yeah, you do have to go a bit out of your way with Pearl, but it is it is kind of well worth it. Like four damage and damage and space is affected, but is more common. Yeah, that's that's my thought. the The fact that it, you just see it more often, I feel like it's. Uh, I mean, I I think I'd, I'd put. I don't think I put it like that. Yeah, I don't know. Ruby's a little underwhelming now that I look at it. I feel like it'd be okay if they made Ruby like five damage, right? Like, come on, come on, don't don't be ridiculous. Anyways, uh, is anyone two spades away? Yeah, that is true. Oh, I think I think they're pretty on par. I think the fact that it's more cumbersome to use makes up for the fact that it's uh like more common technically so I, I i think they're pretty on par i think that's like interchangeable more damage is already game breaking yeah <laughs> that's true but then you have stuff like whetstone which is like what you you're paying energy but you're getting just a bunch of damage let's see well, as soon as you get any buff yeah true <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Farlands Clam item. Oh man, Emmanuel, who's the who's the evil person that created the 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 clam? <laughs> Show him to me, so that I might chastise him. <laughs> no, the the clam is a great is a great item. Just conceptually, it's it's so good conceptually that I'll 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 allow it to remain. <laughs> True. Yeah, the, the whetstone is insanely overpowered. You just get a little bit of energy, a little bit of block to to keep you alive while you're whetstoning, and you're you're the, the sky's the limit. All right. Uh, another gems though. Uh, flame gem. I really like flame gems. Really good. It gives you a, a form of inevitability. Just a free plus two burn. Like, I know, I know, poison's technically better than burn, but in a lot of situations, it's just as good as burn. And then burn just has more use case or more uh, applications of it. But I don't know. Peridot, Peridot's pretty good too. We just just did a video with Peridot and the Robin Bow. That was pretty sick. Is scaling at home exactly? <laughs> Uh, uh I, th I think, hmm, but how much better is poison than burn? Is it better than minus one damage? Herodot sucks, yeah? The minus one damage does hurt, but like, yeah, I, th I think I like it worse than a lot of these. That, oh, you know, you're right. Yeah, it, it would have to happen over the course of several turns in order for it to take effect. You know, you're right. I never thought of it that way. But yeah, it's, it's quite insightful. 
Right now, I actually skip? Damn! People are harsh on- is- I mean... You guys skip it more than Sapphire? Like, holy- I guess that is rare, so... Uh... Oh, you guys make a great case. Ain't no damage turn one. And after three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is- this is why we do these live. So I can be influenced. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, no, that makes sense. I mean, what what are we thinking? What's what's the where where would you guys put Peridot? Are we thinking it's so bad that it's D or F tier? What where 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 are we what are we thinking? Not be doing nothing with backspace. True, we <laughs> influencing the influence. Alright, alright, alright. Anyways, uh, what do we got? Diamond, diamond, I really like. Diamond, uh, well, hold on, how much damage is diamond? Is it only plus one? Is diamond only plus one? Diamond. No, it's plus two. Adjacent and diagonal. I mean, that's just great coverage. It's not worth seeking. It's okay if you have a lot of weapons, true. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree with Chuck. I think Chuck... I think I'm with Chuck on this one. Plus two in Conductive, yeah. And also, it hits spaces that most gems don't. The fact that it gives diagonal... Gen or diagonal weapons a buff is really nice. B tier diamond, hmm. Yeah, you know, I also think I should probably move. I should probably move lightning down to B. Uh, uh, do I like? I think I like diamond more than than lightning bolt, or than light thunderstone. What was it called? Is it is it the thing you use to evolve Pikachu? Uh, thun thunder light lightning gem? No, it's just lightning. No, what what is it called? Electric stone? There it is. Electric stone. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Oh god, what the frick? The game freaked out on me there. Anyways. Yeah, I, I, I like that, uh, especially in like a pickaxe build, the the spot, if you imagine like the T of the pickaxe, the spot that's like a little diagonal, the, the diagonal spaces to the pickaxe go unused by like other gems other than like amethyst, so having a, a diamond there is really nice. Really? It's also conductive? Yeah. The conductive is always nice, especially in like a hammer build. I think I have a I had a, a hammer build a long time ago. It might be it might be a video. Basically having Ring of Rage connected uh like this this is great for hitting hammers. Like this is probably one of the better gems for hammers. Uh, like amethyst might be a little better. I mean Pearl does nothing. Pearl could just be another hammer, and you know it'd be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, anyways, uh, I feel like I feel like I haven't used electric stone in a while, and even then, plus one damage. Uh, I'd, I'd put it over Peridot probably. Okay. What else are we cooking up here? Uh, and I think this is the last gem, Red Pearl. Is that correct? I think so. Red Pearl. Oh no, we also have Heart Gem. Heart Gem is pretty good. Heart, heart Gem, how, how can you say Heart Gem is bad? It does require you kill someone, uh, but it's pretty generous. Uh, I'd probably... I, th I think I like it a lot. It gives much needed sustain to, like, Crate, who otherwise doesn't have much healing. Chat's a little hard to read because of this big heart button. There we go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta grow the chat. Sorry, sorry. Give me one moment. That's not what I want. Oh god. Oh god. Two tier lists on the same day. Oh, I guess so. I guess we could split it up that way. That makes sense. 
Our gym is good. Unkill and take damage. Yeah, they, they can be a little tricky. Having having conditions. Vampire gem? Oh, was there a vampire gem? Was that like in the in the in the itch.io version in the in like the demo? I do not remember that. Cause I, I didn't start playing back back here until it came to Steam. Okay, but anyways, Red Pearl. What is what is what is what are the numbers on Red Pearl? Red Pearl. Weapons along a diagonal line get plus three damage. Okay, this hits a lot of stuff. If you have a high quantity of weapons, it's pretty good. It also can hit your weapon from like far away if you got uh something else. Which is nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's see, let's see. Blam, okay. But, I don't know, how good is, uh, I think it's probably better than Amethyst. Do I like it more than the Ghost Gem, though? I think, hmm. Yeah, I think it's fine here. I think it's fine. I think Red Pearl has some uses. I, I think I'd rather see a, a Ruby, though. Give one vampirism. He's clamping down on easy healing. Come on, some characters need easy healing, specifically crate. It's, it's just crate. Like why can't why can't crate drink a warm drink? All right, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Anyways, uh, so that's all of the gems, I believe. I believe that's all the gems. Oh, we could do the we could do the energy stones. Where are the energy stones? Verdant energy, red energy, the pearl energy. Uh, is that all of them? There should be another one, right? Ooh, did I not? Oh, that's another one of the missing ones. Okay. Uh, what's the what's the white energy called? Uh, ethereal energy? No. What? Uh. What is... hold on. What is the name of... Must give them a repair kit. Yeah, true. They have nothing to compensate for it. Yeah, once the shield gets online, true. <laughs> I mean, the starting shield is very good. Don't get me wrong, but in shit like adaptive, you don't, you can't really hold on to that. You can't really hang your hat on that. Uh, where is... Hold on, are they not here? Where are the energies? Are they not accessories? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Crim... Oh, I'm... Am I on crate? Did I accidentally cr click crate? Crimson energy. Ah, shit. Okay. Energy. Okay, token of energy. Okay, that's the one I'm missing. I think it's the only one I'm missing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One sec. One sec. Uh, I am token of energy. Token is the color of your energy. Whoa. Uh, that. Save image. Curve. Blam. Oh wait, no, there is a token of energy. Wait, what? Did it not get... No, th wait, hold on. There should be a token of energy. Did it not make it... Hold on. Did I just not see it? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's already here. Whoops. I'm sure if you guys could see this, you would have corrected me on it. Uh... But they gave up. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's it. Thank you. Sorry, I, I was blind. I was blind. I didn't see the token of energy. Okay, we, we got them all here. Uh, the satchel energy is is good. It's good. It's a little annoying to use. You have to like. It's, it basically costs you a level up to use it. When you think about it, which it is a pretty steep cost, but I mean, it gives you an energy. What? Oh, hold on. Does it give you an energy? <laughs> uh, it gives you one energy and it has two forge slots. Hold on. Now, why do these have forge slots? All right. <laughs> now, this is like a newer item. Wait a minute, this this got released with Satchel. 
Why does this have <laughs> forge slots? Excuse me? Alright. I'm gonna write a letter after this. Anyways. Uh, Vermilion Energy? Is that what this one is? It's named after the Pokemon City, which is named after the color. Uh, it is Violet Energy, sorry. Oh, whoops. Oh, no thanks. Uh, yeah, Violet Energy. Oh, whoops. Ah, uh, okay, I understand. Why the F? Oh, hold on. Is 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 this not uh? So, okay, so the the tier list. Is this an American thing? I think this might be an American thing. A like if you if you do badly on a test or if you <laughs> if you score a seventy percent on a test, you get a C. 80% is a B, 90% is an A, or 90 to 100 is an A, and then uh, 60 to 69 is a D, and then anything less is an F. I don't think uh, like European systems use F for grading. Is that right? I don't, I don't think you guys... Vital Energy is the go? Absolutely. Vital Energy is so strong. Uh, but how strong is it? If you get it early on enough to where you can like build your backpack around it, it's perfect. It's incredible. And we're- okay. I mean, in, in the same in the same breath, though. Violent energy is incredible. Verdant energy is so annoying to use that I gotta give it like a like a freaking high B. Yeah, it's two energy. It's so incredible. That's tusk, baby. That's a freaking tusk right there. And as we as we'll see when we get to the to the uh, what's it called the relic tier list, tusk tusk is going up. It's going up there. Oh yeah, I need to look up some some. I don't know. Is is the is the bag layout a thing that is solved? You know, is there an optimal uh, bag leveling you should be doing? It just seeks. Uh, yeah, and one time it just hopped right out of my bag and disappeared. It straight up jumped off a bridge, and I was pissed. I think it was in one of the in, in a video too. It was absolutely insane. I think it was a tote video, maybe. I don't know, it might, it might not have been published. Yeah, yeah, the Verda energy. Because yeah, it gives, oh, it gives, and it could also, so the way it works is it jumps to a random empty space it's facing. So it could jump one space, but it could jump all the way to the opposite side of your bag. Just covers most cases. Okay, that, that's what I figured. It's just making a squarish bag. Okay, so the, the Pearl energy is another gem like Verdant Energy that just doesn't give you as much payoff, but requires just as much fudging your backpack around. And I think it is better than Token of Energy because with Token of Energy, you always have a dead space. You always have a dead space where you can't place an item because if you do, it will disable it. But with the Crimson Energy, you can make your backpack in such a way, you can level up in such a way to where you don't have any unused spaces. Hey, <laughs> Tear the Frog. Okay, I'll, uh, just for you, gaming. There we go. It can make the oh, it can make the Italian flag. Beautiful. That's the Italian for that flag, right? Shout out, shout out, Emmanuel. Resident Italian, I believe. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. What else? What else? Uh oh. Make, make a weird cross-shaped bag. Get max width, then build the left side into a square. <laughs> that is I I don't know. I, I I'm the only backpack hero player I know. 
And to me, that sounds like insane behavior, but hey. I mean, Chuck knows more about the game than I do, so who am I to judge? All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's move it along. Let's move it along. Uh, anything else? That's those all the energies, right? I think I think well, I just spotted dice. I think dice could easily go go into S tier, right? Gets rid of curses, rerolls your relics into something you want. Let, lets you fish for relics, you know. It's just it's just very very good and useful. It's just excellent. It's basically ten dollars, right? Because the the what the lady charges you ten dollars to get rid of your curses, you know. It's basically ten dollars in a little item, and it it doesn't have the same opportunity cost, you know. It's common. Like how how could you argue with that? Uh oh. On that note, though, I'm putting the the legendary die down there. Yeah, it shouldn't count. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels like a bug. It definitely feels like a bug. I don't know. When I first discovered that, I was like, "What?" I, my mind was blown. It, it it doesn't make sense, like inherently, if that makes sense. You know, it's it's not something someone would think of to do, given given the the situation. Oh god, sorry, my scroll wheel's a bit weird. Okay. Anyways. Uh, there's also, yeah. Uh, I, I never really use it, but... <laughs> Legendary die. Yeah, because, like, sure, you could get two relics. That's, like, that's, like, the big payoff. Honestly, really? I mean, oftentimes, I feel like before with the old relics, the die is S tier. Because there's so many relics. The relics used to just give you flat damage, basically. They were just gems. They were just strong gems. It was initially common, then nerf when they realized you could get double relics. They nerfed it to legendary? If it was rare, I'd put it in like A tier. But the fact that it's legendary. It's a legendary, my man. Like, come on. And especially now with the with the generally I I'd say weaker relics. But like with with the, with the weaker relics we have now, like I it's, I feel like it's not as as usable. I feel like there's rarely a situation where you want to take more than one relic anyways. Because they either do little or they do nothing, you know? Anyways, anyways, anyways. Uh, yeah, for now, just because I personally hate it, I'm leaving it down there. Sorry. <laughs> just that's That's a personal thing. It's not you. Okay, anything else down here? Uh, I guess we should do the whetstones. I mean, the whetstones are going to be easy. Uh, well, I guess ethereal is a bit weird. Oh, I can make the German flag. Hold on, hold on. Which, what's what's the German flag? The German flag is this, right? I mean, this is. I mean, I, this, this is pink, but like, is is it? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me Google German flag. <laughs> uh, sorry, German viewers. German. Uh, oh no, I messed it up. It's like this. Damn it. Yeah, all the wet suns are good. Some are better, definitely. It's at least it's better than map. Yeah, true. Uh, I mean, it's not a hard. Th oh wait, no, we got curse wet sun. That's that's just a better red. Look at that. Uh, okay, so oh yeah, poison wet sun too. There we go. Okay, and there's that uh, all of them. Where we have the other whetstone up there. Okay. So, whetstone. I mean, dark whetstone is crazy. Dark whetstone is simply insane. Uh, apart from that, cursed whetstone I feel is usable. But it does have a downside. So, I don't feel great about putting it 
in S tier. I mean, the downside... Well, hold on. Is, is Dark Whetstone, when it curses you, it just gives you the buff that you can cleanse, right? What's it called? Uh, Right? Because it, it... Hold on. It gives you the, the curse condition. Hold on, hold on. We, we can test this out. We can test this out. Hold on. Hello, sir. Uh, give me Curse Whetstone. All right, unfortunate. Uh, smile. Curse Whetstone. Oh yeah. Okay. So just want to test this out. Very slim uses, but not unusable. True. You're a Whetstone F tier. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. Why is why is that that that's from a flavor perspective? That's just not great. Hold on, hold on. Uh, what, what's the potion? Cleansing potion. Is this it? Because I want, I want, I want. I need to test if this works. Yeah, and then you can cleanse it. Okay, okay, okay. That, that is how that works. Okay. Just making sure, just making sure. Uh, hold on, let me get the background music to be what it should be. Okay. Yeah, but not all curse, like if you use curse potion, it doesn't work like that, right? It just gives you the curse right away. Like it, it's it's inconsistent with, with some items that curse you and others, others, but what's it called? Anyways, Golden Whetstone, I'm always happy to see it. I'm sad that it got uh, nerfed. I wish it was still rare. Uh, if it was rare, it'd be easy S tier, but I don't know. Uh, it'd be easy high S tier, I should say, but I don't know. Choice instead of backing it. Yeah. Oh, this curse system is better than all the curse systems we've had before, at least. We can say that, I feel. <laughs> Back in the day where it's like, if this is not placed on a hat, destroys items under this or whatever. Oh, I do not miss those days. Back when enemies would curse you, oof. Oof, oh yeah, Ethereal Whetstone is, is kind of bunk. It is, well, in one fight it can be good. But otherwise, I don't know, I feel bad putting it in F tier. Just because for one fight it can be really good. <laughs> Taking zero bag space, that is true. Yeah, you can't just alternate use that. <laughs> Alright, regenerative whetstone, uh, I think is, is very good. Uh, I think it's not as good as dark whetstone though. Uh, but the healing, I, I'd put it next to heart gem. Uh, only because they forgot... I need to see at some point, yeah. When are they going to update the game? That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm wondering. Uh, and then we got Poison Wet. Poison Wet sounds so good. Uh, oh, hold on. We forgot a gem. We forgot Poison Whetstone's best friend. Uh, cleansing Rag. Cleansing Rag is incredible. Like, right? Like, I'm, I'm not the only one that's like, yeah, Cleansing Rag. I love to see it. It's rare, right? Cleansing Rag is rare. Let's see, cleansing, cleansing rag. Yeah, it is rough, but it's it's so good. It's so good. It saves you so much HP. It also enables you to use stuff like poison bubble and poison whetstone. You know? It's it's tough to argue with that. All right, how long have we been going? It's only been 45 minutes. Okay, we'll we'll finish this soon. We've already got a lot of stuff done here. Alright, uh what else did we miss? Uh, oh, this shield scale is technically a gem. Oh, and also the gloves. Uh, so this gives adjacent weapons minus one damage, but adjacent shields plus one spikes. I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like it's pretty good. I don't know, I feel like high B. Oh, modded relics to spawn again. Oh, no. They both existed, then broke. No. <laughs> uh. All right. 
Uh, oh, we also got coal and... Oh, no, no. What, what is coal? Coal is in a stone. Oh, we got this gem. Okay, first of all, these gauntlets, they take up too much space. They are... They, they are too cumbersome, though they do give big buffs to a lot of items. <laughs> this week, two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, but uh, but yeah, this is also... Oh, hold on. Musical gem is also a gem. I, I think it's called musical gem. I don't think I've ever read the name of it, honestly. But it, it's nice. It's nice to have. I think... Uh, I, th I think, hold on, I'll move this behind you, move you up here, because it is it is just really nice if you're doing a satchel build, uh, and metronome is like crazy, right? I'm not misremembering that, metronome is crazy. Oh, which one, gaming? The gem gauntlet is worst property is actually May. oh, that's right! That's I always forget that. I always forget that they only affect melee items too. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think yeah. This is annoying. I mean, they are better. Well, are they? <laughs> they take up so much space. Uh, it's a rivals of Aether item too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I always forget that they only affect freaking melee weapons. That's wild. I don't know. I, have, I, have, I own Rivals of Aether, but once again, I haven't played too much of it. Oh, another. I think Goat Doll is also Rivals of Aether item. Goat Doll's very good. Goat Doll's very good. Is it? I think. I think it's just here though. If you get a lot of Goat Dolls, it's hilarious. But for the most part, I'll just live right there. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of references, Robot Toy. Robot Toy is very fun. I really like Robot Toy. I think it's on par with Goat Doll. Uh, well, I guess technically, Goat Doll requires... Well, it requires more investment in levels, but less in bag space. But if you already have a build that has a lot of uh, mana stones... you like outcast from the other items. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I mean, Leaf Guitar is kind of crazy, right? Like, I'm not alone in, in thinking this. Leaf Guitar. I th hold on, I think we already reviewed these in the weapons. <laughs> this is the only, like, weapon accessory. This is, this is, like, the only overlap between the two tier lists. Is that right? <laughs> I forget where we put Leaf Guitar, but I, I find it hard to believe that we put it anywhere other than, than S tier. It works out better. True, true. True, true, true. Uh, anything else? Hold, hold on. Oh, there's this thing. I the philosopher's stone. Is this what it's called? Oh, you need two calls. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know coal is very exploitable. I don't think I've ever ever gotten it to be to be crazy. Or leaf guitar with it. Okay. Yeah, I've never enabled that. Yeah, hold on. Philosopher's Stone. Alright, that's what it's called. Philosopher's Stone. Give me one time each turn. When this item destroys an item, add one energy. Unuse. Adjacent diagonal consumes or destroys. So hold on. So how does Philosopher's Stone work? I've only ever used it once. That's all we're thinking about. But here, when this destroys an item, adds one energy on use, adjacent and diagonal consumables are destroyed. When this destroys an item, so if it destroys five items, do you get five energy? Yeah, Philosopher's Stone is awful. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is it better than the die? Probably not, though. Probably not, though. We'll, we'll, we'll have them live there. It would right great. Also, stone turns your consumables into energy, which generally is what you are doing with your consumables anyway. 
Yeah, that is that is a great point. Uh, I, I've also never just I've, I've I feel like seventeen. I don't think I've ever used Philosopher's Stone properly. I'm sure, like with Philosopher's Stone plus Cauldron, you could do, you could like generate. Well, I guess you know, then again, it's only usable once per turn, right? So you can't even like go infinite with it. They thought of that. Uh, oh, hold on. is the Summoning Stone a, a stone technically? Oh no. I mean, it's this is S tier, right? Like, it's so necessary for Pocket that it has to be S tier, unfortunately. Like, that's just how that works. I don't know. I, yeah, I've also never... I don't think I've ever activated Philosopher's Stone. I don't think I've ever clicked on it other than to drag it to sell. Would be energy neutral. Yeah, that's how that's how I was thinking. And it's just taking up five spaces in your inventory for <laughs> for nothing. Become a manual token. All right, all right. Anyways, uh, moving on, moving on. Uh, blessed pig. This just caught my eye. How, how do how do how do other people feel about blessed pig? Because I feel like it's a worse sensor. Is that what it's called? Is, is it a sensor? Sen no, sen uh what what was it called? Uh what what hold on. I'm, I not know what it's called. Uh I'm looking, I'm searching, I'm trying to find it. Uh at least it's better than map. Don't you forget it. At least it's better than map. Uh, where, what is... What is that item called? That each combat create a blessing. Why can't I... Thurible, that's it. Is <laughs> it with unlucky horseshoe? Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, Thurible. That's, that's what I was thinking. Where is Thurible? Uh... It's in here somewhere. Did I already move it? No. Am I blind? I'm, I must be blind. Is it not here? No. Surely it's here, right? Oh, there it is. It's just so tiny. Okay, Thurible. Thurible. I love Thurible. I love Thurible because it can get me... Uh, it can get me Sacred Sword. The best sword in the game. <laughs> for basically F tier, but one slot legendary, easy to carry and sell. You know what? Now that I look at it, <laughs> this, that you know what? There's there's more than I thought. If I had a nickel for every one slot legendary that you just want to sell, I'd have three nickels, but that isn't a lot. That isn't a lot, but it's more than I thought. Thurible is inconsistent. You are right. Yeah, I'm, incl I'm inclined to, to put my biases aside for Thurl, because I do love it. I think it's excellent. I think, what is it, uncommon? It's uncommon. It gives you a, a cool uh, blessing at the start of each combat, you know? Because that is the problem with, like, Blessed Sword. Because it's like, hey, cool, now I got a cool... Uh, I got a cool blessing from killing that guy that would have helped me kill that guy. I wish I had this earlier. Yeah, yeah it is inconsistent, which is important. Uh, oh yeah, pacifist ring. Did we did we put pacifist ring somewhere? I mean, sometimes pacifist ring goes along with these one slot rare or legendaries that you want to sell, but other times, like with satchel, it's kind of crazy. So I'm willing to split the difference and put it like C tier, because sometimes it's just absolutely unusable and you can't, <laughs> you know, you can't get to a shop to sell it even. Uh, uh, okay, anything else along those lines? Is this Panic Ring? Which one's Panic Ring? This is Dad's Ring. Dad's Ring is like a... That's like a B tier. <laughs> yeah, it's either 17 gold or free energy with no in-between. <laughs> 
Exactly. It's it's very hit or miss. But uh oh, slime hand. I don't think I've ever used slime hand. It's so rare that I never see it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dynamite. I feel is pretty good. I'm just grabbing a random item out of here. Dynamite's pretty alright. It can get rid of a curse. It can get rid of a curse. Along with Clean Burn. I feel like these... I mean, Clean Burn has the benefit that it cleanses you. But that might be a bad thing if you're, like, doing spikes or something. So... Who knows? Who knows? Uh... Let's see. What else? What else? Duct Tape. Duct Tape... I feel is God going to S tier. It's just got so many applications. It's got a lot of use cases. It's got a lot of synergy, especially with these gems up here. I feel like it's kind of crazy, right? It simply must be crazy. Clean burn usually works out better. Yeah, that's true. In a pinch, clean burn could could cleanse your poisons when you're getting poisoned. Uh. Bouncer, ooh. How do we feel about Bouncer? <laughs> How do we feel about Bouncer? I'm sure someone here... Is the other I forget is <laughs> just Dynamite. <laughs> exactly. Suddenly you have no haste, no regen, no rage. Uh, but Bouncer, uh, someone here has had to learn the hard way that Bouncer can bump items out of your inventory, right? Like, that, that's thats just a thing that can happen. From not having a gold mechanic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, remember the old gold mechanic where gold took up a space in your inventory? That was wild. Down sells for way less than shortcut map. You know what? You are right. <laughs> you know what? That is a fantastic point. Oh yeah, Farlands. Yes, that is true. I did, uh, there is that, that axe that benefits from getting bounced around. Speaking of benefits from being bounced around, the, the gem here. Which, when this finishes moving, it gives adjacent weapons plus five damage. Which it kind of has to give a lot of damage, because it is such a pain in the ass to use. I feel like Piston is better than Bouncer, though. I don't know why. Bounce, Bouncer is just sort of a wild card because it bounces in all directions, which is a nightmare. By trading rarity with items. Ooh, I could get down with that. Because, yeah, money is very strong in the game. Mostly because of forging. Which begs the question, like, would, would the Forge Master just have a... How, how would the Forge Master work in a no-gold economy, you know? It requires too much. Yeah, it requires you to hold on to items like Piston and Bouncer, you know, which is. Yeah, yeah, Piston is basically an upgraded Bouncer. Exactly. Uh... Seem to find them at the same time. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. But uh, apart from that, I mean. I love scratch items. Might as well do the scratch items now. Brass knuckles, I'll put it at the bottom of the S. Tattered collar is probably better. Well, by itself, tattered collar is worse. But you know, we'll, we'll just we'll just bunch those up together because they are very good. There are no glove of knives. I think glove of knives might be my favorite scratch item. Uh, at least in the base game. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, actually, oh, are the bangles not here? Oh, are the flaming bangles not here? Hold on. Flaming bangles. Flaming bangles, right? Uh, no, no, you guys don't see the flaming bangles, right? I think that's another item that I overlooked. Okay. Yeah, energy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> hold on, what's roof stone? Hold on, hold on. Right, can we get a translator here? 
Is that a uh, is that is that the German? Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, it is shoutstone. What on roof means to shout? Hold on, is there? Hold on, what, what, what? Uh, help me out here, gaming. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. The sprite was yeah, the flaming claw. It was it was huge. The sprite <laughs> took up so much space. Uh, but I do have to get flaming bangles. Summoning stone? Oh, no, we, we got summoning stone. Oh, 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 the legendary summoning stone. Because I think we are also missing that one. The, hold on. Hold on, what is, what is that? Uh, is that an accessory? Summoning stone's legendary cousin, what is it called? I don't see it under ex that. Oh, there it is. Stone of Awakening. Okay, so we're missing Stone of Awakening and we're missing Bengals. Uh, awakening. And flaming Bengals. How do you spell Bengals? Oh, I spelled it right. Cool. No scoped it. Beautiful. Uh, blam. Uh, the second song slash chant thing. Uh, are we? Are we, hold on. That don't fit into other categories. Exactly. That's why there's so many. Thank you, Son of Awakening and Flaming Males. I just gotta download them. There we go. Save image. Uh... Cool. Make sure I get that. Okay. Uh, move you guys over here so you guys don't see anything you're not supposed to see. Any of my foul secrets. Uh... Okay. Uh, Stone of Awakening and Flaming Bengals. Okay. What else were we missing? Yes, that one's not an accessory. <laughs> which is weird. Which is weird. Okay, we're good. Uh, so Flaming Bengals are like C tier. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. Yeah, maybe we could just start filling out the C tier. What else is C tier? Oh, oh, hold on. This rough whetstone is like garbage, right? Like this is terrible. Like it's it's just bad, right? Like this this was added like recently too, which blows my mind. Just to reduce shenanigans with it. That is true. Why is it so, wait, why is what's so small? Why is Flaming Bangle so small? That is, that is a great point. Why is Flaming Bangle so small? Is it because it's long? I think long items. No, th these are fine. These, these are fine. I don't know why Flaming Bangles are so tiny. I mean, they are meant to be worn on a rat, you know, and rats are small. Rough Whetstone was added with story mode. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is terrible, right? I'm not misremembering that. Uh. Rough whetstone. We did miss a whetstone. Adjacent weapons get plus three damage this turn. Oof. 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 Oh, that's okay. I understand. Sorry, Gaiman. Sorry, Gaiman. Sorry, I, that's what he was talking about. Yeah. So sorry that the English language is so dang dumb. That's on me. Well, it's not on me, but it's, <laughs> it's on my country, honestly. 
Three shivs and a machete. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Three shivs and a machete. <laughs> That's the one use case. Uh, all right. Yeah, rough, rough whetstone is pretty rough. Uh, but on the bright side, you could use this to make an another Italian flag with <laughs> with the whetstones. There is a red, white, and green one. Okay. Also the Mexican flag, but there's no whetstone that has an eagle on it, so it's a little more complicated. Okay, uh, ba -ba -ba. Archangel Wings. It's okay in English. <laughs> uh, oh no, your English is much better than my German, to be fair. I, I speak a little bit of a lot of languages, but <laughs> probably not as well as you speak. English with four shivs and crafting to ah. free is always breakable that is true that is true yeah arc hold on hold on hold on you guys are on the rock scene I'm, I'm looking at Archangel Wings what are your guys thoughts on Archangel Wings because I feel like they have to be S tier they simply must be but I don't know how high up I think I recently made use of them with a dark whetstone just to give me an extra energy basically but is that best case scenario it's just like one energy for two spaces is it just like a worse token of energy <laughs> yeah regular whetstone is just its cooler cousin archangel wings with whetstone yeah art of cheese expensive items true yeah you could get like two energy out of it to energy worth of value like that my mods. oh yeah it does hold on you know with the with the rpg classes it doesn't work because that disables it so when you kill something it doesn't well no it uses it each turn wait a minute yeah that actually absolutely <laughs> like expedites the leveling process on the rpg classes Would be better token of energy as token of energy is four slots. That is true. Yeah, but Archangel Wings does not circumvent the uh, the what's it called the the mana cost of anything, right? If you put a mana cost, if you put like a wand in between there, but you have no connected mana, it will try to use it, but it won't, right? Because it still needs to eat up the 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 mana, the appropriate amount of mana. Oh, it is it is a lot of work you know what I'm, I'm i'm willing to put it behind the uh the energy tokens because they're they're just easier to use those are ghostly oh genius great call that's why they're ghostly is it out of use as mechanic ah okay okay I follow, I follow. Oh yeah, good night, gaming. I know, I, well, hold on, what time is it in Germany? Uh, hold on, because I know... Uh, oh yeah, it's 10 p.m. Yeah, you better be, be scuttling off now. You best be scuttling off now. Good night, good night. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Most of Europe has the same, at least Western Europe has like the same, is in the same time zone, right? Is Great Britain different? Oh yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys use what we in America call military time for some reason. You guys don't have AM or PM. And other growing items. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, school is important. School is definitely important. Oh, I think gaming is is gaming is German, right? Well, at least he at least he speaks uh, Deutsch. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? How do you say? Do you speak German in German? I thought it was something like that. Anyways, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? And Britain, yeah, okay, it is, it is, yeah, Great Britain does have a, a different time zone than at least Germany. 
Oh, I, I saw a map of time zones recently. I was like, eh. Okay, anyways. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, pouch? Oh, pouches. Frickin' S tier, right? I don't know if it's better than the whetstones, but like... Here we go. The pouch is insane. It's just insanely usable. You just stuff some consumables in there that you don't need to use right now. Stuff some stuff you're gonna sell later. I mean, it gives you a lot of gold worth of value. For one slot, you know. I feel like it's kind of crazy. Uh... Anyways. You hate pouch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how can you hate pouch? It's impossible. It's simply impossible. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Does Stone of Awakening... <laughs> does, does it... I mean... It's very good. But, like, the fact that it's legendary as opposed to you just getting it for free... Does that change it? Isn't the overtune department? Yeah, that's true. That does the it does neutralize the curses just by stuffing it in there. That's a great point. That's a great point. Yeah, pouch pouch is insane. Pouch is simply crazy. Uh, but I'll put I'll put Stone Awakening down here maybe. Can't make modded pouches. What? Except for, yeah, except that you don't get it on the free skis. Which is weird. Why doesn't it just start you with it instead of making it a separate item, you know? But you can't find it. Yeah, true. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is a, this time it was a, it was a weird situation for the list. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh... What else do we have here? What else? I mean, do we just start going down the list? Okay, so this spellbook is an easy C tier. Well, no, actually, it's pretty good. Let's ignore the cheese. And the starting pack is too much? Oh, that's true. Yeah, because you could just get rid of it, theoretically. That's true, that's true. Okay, but no, this, I mean, this book is free once per turn, right? Yeah, this is this is the one that scales in energy cost. It only gives you one mana, but it's basically a charging mana stone as long as you have other mana stones. Like, and that's, and I think I get charging mana stone like an A tier. Like, this, this thing's kind of, kind of great. It's only uncommon. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of sweet. That's kind of sweet. The only downside of this has versus regular charging mana stone, I guess also has an upside that, you know, if you really needed mana, you could spend one energy and then two energy on it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll put it hypey. I'll put it hypey. Because it is, it is very usable. Uh, cactus is all right. I feel it's all right. That's what, on, on, uh, when you're attacked, you gain a spike, or three spikes. <laughs> that is true. But, I mean, it does give you a second use of a reorganize if you really need it, but... No, I, I'm willing to put it, like, bottom of D tier. The buy a book event is very good. Because usually it pays for itself, because there are so many legendary books. And by so many, I mean two. Uh, make sure I have both of the books here, right? Where is There it is. Warrior Spellbook. This Spellbook, Necronomicon. And are there no more books? Am I just thinking of Farlands that has a bunch of books? I guess there's this one. This is the, the one that lets you revive a pet. This is the big, dinky summoning tome, uh, which I will... So this book is really only good if you have Big Dinky with a bunch of on-death items. Yeah, that is true. Grab Cactus, you could build around this. It is it is quite potent. Yeah, I'll put it... Uh, yeah, I'll put it bottom of S tier. Even without the spiky crown exploit? God, the spiky crown exploit. God damn. 
I think I showed it off recently, very recently. But goddamn, if it isn't, I, I used Spiky Crown with a uh, King Shield, which was was just just insane. It's just not okay. Uh, Warrior Spellbook. Uh, War Warrior Spellbook is scaling. It's sort of like a whetstone, and it also gives you mana. But you really need what 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 do you need? I mean, it's good with like a wand. Because you can scale its energy while also giving it some damage. Is infinite with happy buckler? Oh shit. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> I never thought about that. Oh uh, yeah, Sp spiky spiky crown might need to go. I don't know. That that that's a curse that's too good. Is a whetstone for wands, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the case. I'll put it up here. This for wands, basically, yeah. I forgot what... I think... Yeah, I think I used this with Engine Wand. They need to fix Engine Wand also. They need to they need to just fully rework Engine Wand, because in, in its current state, it's kind of whack. The fact that items that uh, consume an energy at the start of your turn, the, the way that... The fact that they all go off, even if you only have one connected Mana Stone, is kind of crazy. That's just wild. Uh, as for Necronomicon, Necronomicon is two mana, and it applies poison to all people. I don't know, I'm willing to put them sort of neck and neck. The poison is useful. Just remove bombs. I mean, they did remove bombstone, but then they were like, oh no, people like using them with shurikens. Oh no. Yeah, the brutal bombstone is kind of wet. I mean, yeah, because that, that was them trying to fix it, right? Necronomicon is better than most weapons. You're not wrong. Because, hold on, what is, what is Necronomicon? Let's have a look here. Necronomicon. Because it's two po oh, three poison to all enemies. Oh, shit. Huh. The book is bound in fur. Oh, oh, because it's like flesh. I get it. I get it. I know. The Necronomicon was originally like a Lovecraft thing, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh no. I play Call of Cthulhu. I know, I know, I know. What's his name? Lovecraft and <laughs> HP. Yeah, you know what? Vix, you're making a great point. You're making a great point. And how far up? I'll put it. Probably over these two gems. I think I like that. I think that's pretty alright. Yeah. Yeah, because three poison to all enemies is kind of insane. Ooh, but speaking of poison. Poison Ivy. This has killed me on more than one occasion. I will admit. Just doubles your outcome a bit too, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Where, where do we put Poison Ivy? Because it is a great win condition. If you can deal with the poison, if you can get rid of it or outheal the poison, it's like S tier. It's like a better crab cactus. But early on, just the fact that it hurts you from being in your inventory is a little rough. It's a little rough, but I don't know. I feel like... Ah... Yeah, nothing you would take away. Yeah, you, you need to have like a cleansing rag already set up. You need to have something, some sort of healing already going to sustain it. But like it, when it, when you get it working, like, oh man. <laughs> plant subtype? Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. I forgot there's a plant subtype. Oh. Uh... Hold on. Speaking of plants, though, let, let's get these these ducks in a row. Uh, blue rose is very strong. It's three. Another ignored subtype. Uh, let's see. We'll take blue rose. Blue rose is great. 
Blue Rose is three, right? It's three for one mana, it, it gives you three. Blue Rose. Each turn of connection, yeah, three spikes. Well, this is just a worse spiky helmet, right? It's even the same. Plants even have, <laughs> yeah, is there any item that refers to the plant subtype in the base game? That's like for each adjacent plant, do X. I don't think there is. There's no like, oh, why isn't there like a rose rapier that increases the damage with each adjacent rose, you know? Uh, Alchemy and then they gave up. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Chuck. You're doing the Lord's work. Okay, let's go back here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Blue Rose, the fact that it's just worse than the... Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What, what, what is it? It's, uh, it's just a worse spiked helmet, right? Because this is three spikes each turn, one block, uh, also uncommon. And it doesn't cost mana? Like... Like, this just, just doesn't... I don't know. Just, just that alone makes me want to put... The, I guess the Blue Rose does have synergy. Not with plants, but like with... Uh, with whatchamacallit. With uh, the Yellow Rose, I guess? No, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's got to go in C tier after I realize that. <laughs> uh, yellow Rose takes a lot of setup. It is a lot of thorns, though. And Rose of Thorns is like a... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is true. Because of the because of the clumping. Because of the Meet the Clumps, starring Eddie Murphy as all the roles. Uh. Yeah, you know I'll put the definitely over Sapphire. Because spikes are just nice. Uh, over the gauntlets. Yeah, over the gauntlets. Yeah. Oh, but frickin'. Cool. What is this? Uh, is this just called Cactus? Cactus. Red Rose is good. Yes. <laughs> oh, whoops. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I did add transition, so it's not as harsh, so I don't give anyone an epileptic seizure when I switch scenes here. Uh, but the Cactus is incredible, right? Like, it's great. If you can find some self damage, if you use this in conjunction with this, yes, I'm in, I'm inclined to put these two top of a or top of a tier. Yeah, that's that's what that is. Yeah, spikes are very good. Yeah, that is true. Only because they can be exploited? Yeah. What, hold on, what else does it take damage? I'll put the t take damage items around here somewhere. I mean, ideally with a take damage build, you want to have something like like bandages. Which I think are... Where am I going to put bandages? Probably bottom of A tier. Uh, that's also probably where I'll, take, where I'll put all the untake damage items. That, seem, that seems about right. That seems about right. Let me go like this. This, no, nah, cactus is really good. There we go. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, it is, it is pretty easy to damage yourself. Guardian Menace and I have that reduces its own usefulness. That is true. Yeah, unless you have a specific synergy with both of them. Or hold on, hold on. Which one is? Hold on, hold on. I always confuse these two. All right, Guardian Band is on take damage. Haste, right? And what's the other one? Anklet? Anklet? Pretty Anklet was pretty Anklet. When a weapon kills an enemy. Oh. Pretty Anklet is... Eh. The on kill an enemy probably bumps it down. Again, self-damage counter is itself, yeah. Yeah, unless you actually, unless you have, like, uh, this bracelet to activate it so that you can take damage before you gain block and then benefit from the haste with all your armor. Yeah, by, by itself, it's, 
Nothing crazy. Yeah, I'll put Guardian Band out here too, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we haven't done Berserker Ring. Berserker Ring can be a little annoying to use sometimes. It's definitely going to cause you to take at least a little bit of damage unless you have, like, structures. Some, some non-armor form of defense. So, even though it is energy, and energy is the best resource to have, it's, it's probably down there. Let's see, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, we're, we're almost at an hour 30, so let's try to speed run this thing a little bit. Uh, large heart ring. It's probably like a B, because normal heart ring is probably like a C. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it, it just takes up an inventory slot. <laughs> uh... Oh, yes, pocket. That's true, that's true. I always forget about pocket. But yeah, I mean, because cause when are you not taking Coco? Let's be real here. When we get to the pets tier list, we'll all know who's boss. Uh, okay, uh, this is Guardian Ring. Guard this, this, this thing is good because it benefits with haste. So if you have haste, it's great. If not, it's kind of bad. We have Doom. Oh, yes, Ring of Doom. Easy S tier. Is it better than Whetstone? It is free. Well, as long as you have mana, you can use it as many times on the first turn as possible. And I feel like they're kind of neck and neck. Because once you run out of mana, you can't use Ring of Doom anymore, but you get energy each turn. So, uh, yeah, I'll put it right in the middle there. Yeah, nigh useless. True. That is true. You know what? I'll, I'll probably bunch these up here. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it that way. Uh, that's fun. Oh, this ring. This, uh, whatever buddy ring. This is just, like, two energy. Like, I feel like it, at, at the very least, it has to go above these, right? Uh, let me remember what it is. Uh, what it's called. Man, it's usually cheaper than energy. Yeah. Uh, hold on. What was, what was I looking up? Uh, ring. Uh... Here it is. Oh god, oh, my scroll wheel is so messed up. Let's see. Friendship ring. That's it. Pets can't hold. Well, this is no longer relevant. <laughs> wow. This line of text has dated this item. Each turn adds one energy. Oh. I thought this was the one that gave energy to adjacent things. I thought, I thought it was like whip. Whoops. That's still very good. It's super easy to use. So easy to use. So incredibly easy to use. Okay. Uh. Oh, well, even then, if you have auto summon, it always summons them in front of you, right? So you can't even get between them. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a great point. Uh, and I feel like, because mm, energy having energy on the first turn, that's the best turn to have energy on, right? Regardless of how many you get, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Remember when swapping the order of your pets costed energy? I remember. Uh, wow, the pocket rework was uh, incredible. Can I just say that? Like, old pocket was a nightmare. New pocket is pretty good. Uh, okay, as far as other rings go, I love Lightning Ring. I love Lightning Ring. The, I think the first episode of the Backpack Heroes Saga is a Lightning Ring build, and it's just a great time. They nerfed it, though. They freaking nerfed my boy. They got rid of the weapon tag on the Lightning Ring, so now I'm sad. But, I mean, with Ring of Rage in conjunction, Ring of Rage is pretty good. Ring of Rage isn't nearly as good as Ring of Doom, but it's, it's pretty up there. Or just waiting. <laughs> oh, I can't wait! I can't wait for for all the mods with the with pets. Yeah, I mean it is a two a two item combo that goes crazy though. But I mean I I love it. I love what it used to be back when I had the weapon tag. Back when you could buff it with stuff. 
Yeah. Nah, uh, you guys are right. Oh, that is true. That is true. Because Ring of Doom is only adjacent and diagonal, while Ring of Rage is just general rage. You know, I'll, uh, I feel like uh, in most cases Ring of Doom is going to be better, but I, I do feel better about putting Ring of Rage like up here. Works on non-weapon damage sources. Yeah, for example, Ring of, <laughs> or Lightning Ring. Yeah, but unfortunately, Lightning Ring has fallen from grace. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the first episode of the Backpack Hero Saga, that's that's exact I think I think I get two rings of or two lightning rings and one ring of rage and oh is it is it ever beautiful. What a what a beautiful build that is. Uh Okay, but anyways, yeah. Rest in peace lightning ring. Uh you were like 10 times better back in the old days and then they nerfed you. And they didn't even make you more common. They were like, we're, you're staying rare, bud, and you're getting ten times worse. <laughs> yeah, I remember, Manuel. Don't think I forgot. Don't think I forgot. Uh, I feel like they could have kept the weapon tag if they made it, like, legendary. But the fact that they removed the weapon tag without reducing the rarity, like... I don't know. Finding, finding Lightning Ring at rare is rough. It's rough. Oh yeah, have they they haven't got speaking of Belt of Knives Infinite, have they not gotten rid of the Belt of Knives Infinite with Crate? Is that a thing that they have yet to do? Tasty Fly S tier. I don't know why Tasty Fly is only available. I, I will put it in S tier, because having uh the the this this is I mean it's basically a legendary. Well when you think about it. I don't know. <laughs> When you think about it, this could go into the same category as these legendary items. But it is more common, so I'm willing to I'm willing to give it some slack. Maybe you should have increased the base damage though. Yeah. Mods already have so many uses, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they should have given it some compensation buffs for all the nerfs that they gave it, for sure. That's true, but it does give you if if you if there's a legendary item you want to buy and it's not on sale, it gives you a legendary's selling worth of money, right? <laughs> yeah, the shopkeeper definitely thinks it's S tier, yeah. Yeah, at the very least, it saves you $17. At the very least, because it could also then save you some extra money. But I don't know. I think I think probably behind these things in S tier is is more along the lines of of reality. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Tuning fork. Oh, this tuning fork is fucking S tier, dude. I don't know what to tell you. It's right up there with metronome. Probably better than metronome. In the same exact shop. Yeah, which is impossible. Yeah, but it's basically giving you a legendary worth of gold while being able to be found at rare rarity, right? Is, is, is Does my logic hold up? I don't know. Cole, pretty all right in a, in like a, in like a shiv build, but otherwise, I mean, unless you're exploiting it, it's just sort of okay. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Are we getting 17 gold? You still need to go on. <laughs> that is true. That is, a, that is a great point that I forgot about. Yeah, all right. Because Emmanuel hates the fly, I guess we're going to the bottom of F tier. Thanks a lot, Emmanuel. <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll keep it like A tier. Uh, Well, probably, probably like top of B. There we go. Alright, Blessed Pig. Uh, bless it costs money. Like, how, how good could something that costs money be? You'd rather just, like, save your money and buy other stuff. <laughs> it's more a convenient Leaf Guitar. Yeah, that is true. Leaf Guitar does have the upside of dealing, like, a little bit of damage and, like, scaling with, with stuff. 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry, Robert. No, just just because Robert's here. Just because Robert's here. Moving back to A tier. Oh, gold cost <laughs> just to delete the final boss change of mind. True. That is true. Yeah, that's that's uh that's the the Jade Hatchet situation. That's why they nerfed Orc Sork. Because they trivialize the final boss, you can just save your money for that and then unload on them with like one item. Uh, okay, okay. So unfortunately, the the generally the idea of a of a tier list is that most things will be in like the middle. It's like a bell curve. But uh, that's probably just because I've been ignoring all the all the C items. Like I don't know. Pro probably battle ring is like a D tier. Battle ring is just so uninteresting <laughs> and annoying to use. Your favorite guy, though, probably loves Tasty Flight. Yeah. Oh, you you said it. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is a revive potion. It revives your pet at full health. It's like, all right. I mean, it's better than this revive potion, which revives them with one HP. But sometimes reviving them at one HP is just as good. If you got Big Dinky with a bunch of on-death items. Extremely flawed design because the only good use of it is to cheat. Yes. That, yeah. That's true. Uh, okay. Uh, but let's see. Let's see. Uh, Dark Headband. Dark Headband is at least fun. I'll put it... A tier? No, it does require some setup. It is annoying that it isn't conductive. Right? Like, <laughs> I'm not misremembering that. Dark Headband isn't, isn't conductive. Yeah, it's not conductive. Why? For what reason? For get... Yeah, you know what? That is that is a great point. They get five this one health anyways, so you might as well not have it. But it does have a few use cases. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. It does have the dinky use case. Oh, does the big revive potion have more uses? Revive, oh, huge revive potion. Oh, there's huge, big. There's. Huge, big, and normal. What? Must be play on a defeated pet, revised pet with 100% health. That's has two uses. Huh. Okay, then I, I think we're missing an item then, because I forgot that... I, I didn't even know, honestly, that there was a big revive potion. And it's just fully not here. Alright, uh, give me... Give me one sec. Item. Big revive. Oh god. Revive potion. Okay. Oh, it costs one energy? What the frick? Revives pet with 50% health. Nice. Uh. Alright. Out to the folder. Big revive potion. Save it up. All right, and then we'll just import that bad boy. Big revive potion. There we go. Love that. Uh, perfect. Now he's a potion accessory. Great point. If it's like an oversight, that is a great point, Emmanuel. Now that you're bringing it up, yeah, that these are like the only potions on here. Okay, big revive potion. I'll put. Like bottom of C, because uh, it is fifty percent health. That's more than one uh, effigy. Do we want to do all these all these pocket items over here? Uh, so this whistle, whistle, leadership whistle is usable multiple. No, it's a single use. Summon pets are used. Uh, the fact that it's single use is like that's like a B, brother. That's like a B. Oh, yeah, but B, I think big revive potion could go a little higher. Right higher, than throw. right higher than spike scale. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mostly because it has multiple uses and it revives with 100% health, which is nice. It's just a free heal. It's better than an apple. Speaking of healing pets, I think the goblet also heals pets. What else does a goblet do? Goblet. Okay, sorry to all the British viewers when I do my British accent, my terrible British accent. I've been told by a British friend of mine that it's bad, so I'm inclined to believe him. 
Uh, or may maybe he's just insulted by how good it is. And he's like, no, he can't continue to do the accent because it's, it's too great. Uh, what was I doing? I fully lost track of what I was searching. <laughs> Talking about the British. Oh, the British. Uh, what was I fully forgot what I was looking for. Anyways, it'll come to me. Uh, it hasn't come to me. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, what are we doing? Letter. Letter is great if you have double halberd. Otherwise, it's a lot of spaces for quite a bit of damage. Oh, yeah, that's it. Goblet clear statuses. Yes, that's true. That's what I was looking at. I was trying to find... It's not called goblet, though. What's it called? Gob... No, not skull goblet. Uh, cup? Overflowing cup. There it is. Uh, can be used one time each combat. Must be played on a pet. It's free. Removes number of status effects on pet. Yeah, removing status effect on pet is okay. Yeah, don't worry. I got it. I got it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's healing three to your pet once per combat is, eh, it's kind of underwhelming. I mean, hold on, this whistle needs to go back. The fact that it's consumable sucks. Uh, does the other, no, this one, this whistle just makes, for one energy, all your pets deal damage, right? That's pretty alright. I haven't used it to its full effect, because I know if you buff a pet's damage, it also increases the damage they do when you, when you marching whistle. Uh, see, so yeah, I think I think that's pretty all right. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty fly. Uh, piggy bank money is overpowered in this game. I think it's an A tier, right? <laughs> money is very strong. The more money you get, the better. I mean, late game it's like a F tier, but if you get it, you know, at any reasonable point in time, it's pretty good. Uh, seasoning, one of the few healing sources for crate. It's pretty good. Uh, cause yeah, it turns all consumables into healing items, which is kind of crazy. Crisis ring. Okay, I'm sure you guys know how to exploit crisis ring. C could I, could, could, could you all enlighten me on how crisis ring is exploitable? Cause I haven't really found a use case for crisis ring. Uh, with the lanterns. The lanterns are like a, right up here. Well, this one has more uses, so also takes up more space so you know it's fine put the curse cleansing items there uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. rocket silo is hilarious but not very usable in most cases I threw them all <laughs> absolutely it works on clams <laughs> <laughs> uh classic chuck he's always he's always got the clam perspective thank you common ring for brass knuckles okay you know what maybe it's not as exploitable as i thought uh i'm not actually touched it huh all right okay then I, I feel good about putting crisis ring down here in like d honestly uh I was looking at sleeping bag. Sleeping bag is kind of crazy, right? Hold on, we can move. We can move crab cactus up higher. Uh, there we go. Uh, sleeping bag is crazy. Was it two energy? Put a put an en or put all enemies to sleep. Sleeping bag. Uh. Panic ring? I mean, panic ring is pretty alright, right? It's 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 free energy at the end of the day, and you can't go wrong with free energy. You do have to be below fifty percent health, which on higher difficulties is a little harder to achieve. But in standard, it's it's pretty great. Uh, yeah. What sleep to all enemies disabled for two combats? The disabled for two combats is pretty rough. But if you have this against the grandmaster, you just win. You just win. Uh. Pet bed is infinite. Yeah, it is. It is a worse pet bed. But to be fair, pet bed is like way too strong. It's like in its own tier. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's 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 panic ring? Panic ring. Okay, it is the purple one. Does that less than fifty percent health each turn? Adds one energy. 
Used to be once per combat? Jeez Louise. Yeah, sleep is busted. Let's see. Yeah, if you have pet bed with just like Coco, you're 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 sitting pretty. You're absolutely sitting pretty. Uh hold on, let's go back. Uh let's see. Uh yeah, we have to do a tier list for all the treats too, because those are their own thing. Alright, panic ring. I feel like it's gotta go up here with with the energy stones, right? That just makes sense. It's a little bit easier to use, but in some ways more difficult to use, so I feel like them being on par makes sense. Yeah, you are right. You know what? This form of sleep, at least, is, is a bit weaker. You do need other win conditions. But shutting off the enemy for two energy and then having energy left over is pretty good. It's pretty good. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, where, where are we? Let me just let's triple summon from bosses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, skipping their their summoning turn is huge. Uh, but let's see. Velvet bag is good. Is it good enough to win a run on its own? I don't know. I don't know if velvet bag is good enough to win on its own. <laughs> And then some mercenaries say should be walking with the Lord. Exactly. <laughs> Beautifully put. Beautifully put. Uh oh yeah, this leaf gives an energy, right? This is the consumable start of combat. Or this is at the end of combat it's destroyed. I think if you oh sorry, if my, my phone's buzzing with the mic. Might be a problem, but there's another plant. I think that's alright, right? right? Because it's, it's only for one combat unless you find a way to disable it. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's check the let's check the plant subtype. Here we see DFG, HHG, NLP, plant. Uh oh, is it not a plant? Are you kidding me? What what the it's an it's just an accessory? Uh great, now I gotta freaking search through all these bad boys. Stupid Uh speed leaf, thank you. Speed, speedy leaf. How is this not a plant? Who made this? Uh, a token with wings. Uh, like most things. <laughs> yeah, but like, don't you need like a, a bomb stone to make velvet bag? I guess not. I guess if if you if you're organizing your 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 bag correctly, Velvet Bag can't win you the game by itself. And I think if an item can win you the game by itself, it deserves to be an S tier. Just like by default. In place when you find it. That is also true. Yeah. I don't know, Speedy Leaf is probably like a probably like a B tier. It's also uncommon so it doesn't exist. Yeah, why are uncommon items so rare <laughs> for lack of a better word you know what is happening anyways uh dude i've it's it has been so long since i've seen a glove of knives it's actually insane snail helmet oh true it's uncommon too <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm I'm kind of mad. Uh, kind of mad about the whole uncommon situation. To be real, oh, we forgot a ring, spellblade ring. Spellblade ring is a pearl with extra steps, which I mean, a pearl is S tier, but the extra steps part kind of ruins it. I feel like is it better than sapphire? I think. I think it's probably better because wait, it only affects melee weapons too, right? Or melee weapons also. It is just like the freaking the gloves there. Uh, spell blades ring. I mean, I love a spell blade. That's my favorite archetype of character. 
Uh, yep, melee weapons. Two spaces away, get plus three. Oh, it's worse than a pearl. Oh my god. What the frick? What the hell? They show up in shops. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I they, they could do with making uncommon items a bit more common. What is their problem? Yeah, hold on. Is, doesn't the... Doesn't the shop have a guaranteed layout? Like two rares, one legendary, four commons, or something like that? I, I thought there was a, a, a set layout of what rarity the items in the shop are. Uh, sheet music is fine. It's like okay. It's like like right here with musical note. Uh, shop is luck reliant. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, you're right. Upon further consideration. I mean, I originally put them here because they were better than Sapphire, but they are... They are weighty. I don't know, what, hold on, what is Silo doing here? So Rocket Silo is like a high D. Uh, yeah, I'll put those bottom C, yeah. Well, how, well I guess I don't know the shop mechanic, because there's always a legendary in the shop, right? Guaranteed? One fix rare and legendary. Oh, and the other five are randomly common. Or, what? Well, that just makes a better case for Ring of Luck being top of S tier, you know? <laughs> the fact that they can be influenced. Uh, okay. What else do we have here? Mortar. What? No, what is this called? This isn't called Mortar and Pestle. That's a different thing. What is it? Uh, more. No. Yeah, mortar is a tote item. What is it? Uh, it's frickin', frickin'. Ah, what? What is it? Masonry tools. That's it. What do the numbers mean, Mason? Uh, one time each combat, unused, create a brick in this row. So, I mean, masonry tools used to not be used to not be able to find them, right? They they used to be a challenge specific item. Uh, somehow social maybe those slots are by like, curses first. Wait, what? Somehow shops are cursable. <laughs> yeah, like in there, there's that challenge run, right? Where uh, where shops are cursable, where you find a shop after every combat instead of uh, items. I remember that. I remember those challenges. Okay. Uh, all right. The normal shuriken bags are like. Or like a C, and then there's a magic shuriken bag, which is probably a little worse. It's a little more cumbersome to use. Uh, just by definition, the minute hands. I feel like I haven't seen the minute hand in a while. I mean, they're better than sapphire. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Often they're better than sapphire. The hour hand at least can hit the same three space item twice in a row, you know? Because you could, if you if you set it up properly. Three satchel exclusive. Ah. Are you talking about shurikens? Are you talking about... I think you're talking about shurikens. Because yeah, I think shurikens got introduced with satchel. But no, I think Emmanuel said that they got introduced with satchel, but they were still global. You can still find them on, on purse. I was just playing a lot of satchel, so I thought shivs were ex or shurikens were exclusive error. If that's what you're talking about, you might be talking about something else. Shuriken Forge is a little better. It's a little better. It's quite good. It's quite good. You can make a run with that. Ninja bag, also a little cumbersome to use. We'll put them put them down here. Uh hit Needler twice. <laughs> oh, and Needler is A tier, so Minute Hand has to be A tier now. Oh, thank you, Photo Loss. You <laughs> some great insights, actually. Oh, uh next tier list. I don't know. I feel like next time uh, we're only we're down to categories that are a lot smaller. Hopefully next week on Wednesday we can do we can do like armor in conjunction with shields in conjunction with instruments maybe maybe that's enough items to to cover up two hours. Oh, speaking of two hours, we're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, so let's try to finish this up. Oh, okay, ghost hand is awful. Hold on, let's switch you back. Uh, Ghost Hand is terrible. 
I'm sorry. Slime hand is that slime hand is like coral, right? It lets you duplicate items. Uh, what is it? Goo hand? Is it called goo hand? Goo? No, that's just goo. Uh, sticky sli slimy. There we go. <laughs> slime hand. Oh, whoops. Slime hand. Uh, when adjacent item kills a non-summon enemy, creates a common item. Yeah, shuriken or ninja bag is a little. A little yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Emmanuel. Thank you for stopping by. I know it's getting late out there. It's like it's almost twenty-three. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Creates a common item. Uh, woof. I mean, that's kind of rough, right? That's kind of not great. That's kind of that's kind of terrible. That's kind of the worst. Uh, pro probably like a. Probably like a C tier, bottom of C tier. Maybe decent with Ballista. Oh, great point, great point. Yeah, so, yeah, probably not D or F, probably just like a C, probably like a low C. Uh, Teddy Bear Sword is hilarious. Uh, the only reason it's not super great is because it doesn't have the weapon tag. And Emmanuel knows how strong that is, don't you, Emmanuel? <laughs> you item killer. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm messing, I'm messing. Uh, right now, let's get left behind every single fight. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, weird. I love everything about this game. <laughs> True. Man has over a thousand hours. How could he not? Uh, bird chant? Is that bird chant or bird song? Bird chant? Bird chant, what is this? Uh, this is a magic accessory. It's like, oh, it's one of the items that takes mana each turn. It's like a, it's like an engine wand. Uh, this two spawn item, huh? Once with an item type of rare, and once with legendary. Okay. It beats the wow! This man never beats story mode. I need to get back to story mode. I need I need to unlock everything just for completionist sake. I'm surprised there wasn't like an achievement to get all the items in story mode. I guess achievements were out before story mode. I don't think so. I don't think so though. Okay, bird chant. It's it sucks up one mana, gives you six block. I think it's better than spellblade ring probably. Engine wand, but block exactly. I don't know. I love using. Uh, I don't know. There was a build. I forget what. Sorry, you guys might hear Takata and Fug. Uh, or you might hear this ad. Don't, no, no, you're not paying me. Okay. Because uh, what, what was it? There was a run I had that used the Bonsai plus Bird Champ plus like items that sucked up mana each turn because Bonsai has great synergy with them. Yeah, episode 81, Popper Mode. That was a great episode. Are subject to rarity bus. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, three thousand hours. I'll fill you AFK. <laughs> True. Yeah, I, I also have that with plenty of games. Okay. Anyways, let's try to wrap this up, fellas. Let's try to close her out. Uh, we've been going for quite a while. Don't want to make this too long. Uh, cutting board is rare and kind of mid. Uh, broken ring is block for mana. It's kind of, it's kind of whatever. It's kind of fine. Well, it's better than slime hand. Slime hand, slime hand. It's top of D. Yeah, your slime hand. Uh, oh, splint though. Splint is an interesting one because it requires you to have no armor, so you're gonna be taking damage, at least unless you have like, unless you have structures. Uh, but you're gonna be taking damage. But it does heal you. I mean, it's better if you have a lot of item or like shivs, weapons that are free, right? counteract that health loss but i feel like it's it's the awkwardness i think uh, i think i'll put it like b honestly i think i'll put it in b uh effigy saves you from death once i mean that's pretty good right but i mean it it eats up a space until then and usually you got coco to defend you so you know if you don't have coco this is probably a higher tier but if you do it's kind of like a it's kind of like a c tier honestly Splint wants to use a shield. Oh, that's right. I want to put my energy into smashing. <laughs> yeah, oh, is Splint not uh, armor or a shield? Is Splint just armor? 
Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's right. You know what? Somebody... <laughs> Yeah, hold on. How many hours of, of Backpack Hero are on the channel? Like, at the very least, 150? If you count some of the longer episodes, 150 hours of just gameplay. Well, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, but let's see, let's see. Uh, we'll put, we'll put Splint in A tier. Splint's pretty ugly. You're gonna be too. <laughs> I mean, if that's what it takes to motivate you, if that's what it takes. Yeah, no problem. If you want to put those bad boys on like two times speed, don't feel bad. Much more than you played. Yeah, no, no. We're, we're definitely all about quantity over quality out here. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, oh, we, we should do the the moving items here. Hold on. These, these bands are the same to me. I don't. I can't. Dis I don't know what which is which. Uh, hold on. Which one's the one that? Oh God, freaking! Now I gotta look through accessories, see what these freaking necklaces are. All right, we got charmed bracelet. On use, lose five HP. Adjacent curses are destroyed. That's fine. I've never used it, <laughs> but it's at the very least. Hold on. Let's move you back. This this charm bracelet. It's like a. It's like a B. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I'm still. I'm waiting on. When are they gonna add the new characters? I'm waiting on it. That's my niche for sure. That's how we tricked you all into watching. <laughs> Anyways, uh. Oh yeah, I need to make more Bellatro videos. I, I haven't been playing at all. Oh no, I have played a little bit. I have played a little bit. <laughs> My friend got hit by the plague in Dragon's Dogma quite recently. Luckily, uh, she was far enough into the game where she just, like, after she got hit by the plague, she was just like, alright, I'll just beat the game. <laughs> yeah, it's ironic. It's like when you call a... It's like when you're in a gang and you call the big guy tiny, you know? Everyone's been in a gang before. Uh, anyway... <laughs> So what is this other bracelet? Uh, what is this other bracelet? Uh, not Dad's ring, not the dragonfly. Oh, here we go. Emerald bracelet. This is the one. For each adjacent curse, each combat. So this could give you four energy at the cost of having to carry out four Matroshkas. It's, I mean, it's four energy only at the top of a fight. So it's, I feel like it's worse than these. I feel like it's probably down here. Uh, if balance is good, yeah, I, I try. I, I'll I'll show a loss if it's if it's a long video because uh, I I I don't want to upload like a freaking fifteen minute loss. <laughs> that that feels bad. I want to at least put some content out there. <laughs> I was thinking of just doing like a Far Lands Friday and then other mods, potentially more Far Lands on the weekends, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe we'll do that until uh, until they release more characters. Alright, but Windshield Wiper, this is to do with hazards, right? They added like, when they changed how hazards work, they added a bunch of hazard items. Windshield Wiper. Is this, yeah, this is a crate only item. Hazards in this row or column are destroyed. Yeah, but the fact that it's one energy, you'd have to microchip it to make it worthwhile. I, th I think it's like a C. It's like a C. It's kind of annoying to use. Small pause. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll try to remember to do small pause. Except puzzle mode, which is janky. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. Puzzle mode normally is a nightmare. All right, reading glasses. Ah, I feel like... Hold on. To switch the scene back. Reading glasses. Uh, I put windshield wiper down here. Reading glasses. They are reliant on finding books, which are kind of annoying. And then they could also be destroyed. I feel like mid B tier is fine. Can use directionally. Still bad. Yeah, because the fact that they use energy 
Unless it's, you'd have to break it from your circuit, break it from your main bus to put into Factorio terms. You know, uh, mechanic, mechanized toy. That's what it's called, right? Mechanized toy, mechanized toy, yep. You can be used one time each combat. That's three rays for each space that occup the destroyed items occupied. On use, add one rage to self. Items of display aren't destroyed. Yeah, I mean, it is free. It is free rage. It's not quite free real estate, but it is free rage. And <laughs> that one guy enjoying modded of a day. You're the only person crazy enough to do such a thing. Uh, let's see, let's see. The amulet is also kind of meh. Big C tier items. Save these for last. Dragonfly can be good early on. It's huge for not much. Yeah, mechanized toy. Probably. It's, it's, it's along the same lines as silo. Uh, this can go with that because I think they're like the same thing. I forget what they're called because I never use them. The, this this wheel? is it? Does it have a wheel in the name? It is just called wheel. Okay. <laughs> On use, move forward until- oh, it costs energy? Ugh. That's rough. It costs energy? We all got buffed? Really? To cost energy? Dude, when this moves, adjacent items get plus 5 damage this turn. Oh, each turn this item is used. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand. Okay, so you could speed up the process by using energy. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand, I understand. Uh, or it didn't use itself. Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah, I, I feel like it's about on par with Dragonfly. I think they might just be the same thing. Uh, well, no, I think Wheel has a little more use cases. You, you could spend energy if you wanted to. Uh, Cauldron's like, all right. I think it takes up too much space to be really competitive. Also gave four instead of five. Ugh. Ugh. That's, that's what it makes me feel. Grappling Hook has... Just so few use cases that I put him a seat tier. Right, the grappling hook is the one that, uh, grappling hook or grapple, it's just grapple. One time each turn for free pulls back most enemy to the front of the group. So it lets it's great against that boss, the, the boss that's three mice in a trench coat. That's about it. Oh, it has a different movement pattern. What? Wheel. Uh, moves forward, turns clockwise, and then dragonfly turn. Moves forward, turns. Like, what? I mean, you could use dragonfly with two empty spaces, right? But you will only get the the movement every once in a while or every other turn. Yeah, yeah, no, I meant, uh, yeah, there, I forget there are multiple, I, or multiple <laughs> enemies that are rats in a trench coat. Uh, what's it called? Uh, no, I'm talking about, uh, that boss on the first floor. Or I guess on the third floor. The one that splits into the defender, the one with the big boots, and then the guy in the back that's buffing all of them. That guy. I forget what he's called. Oh yeah, that's that's a shame. I don't. Know, I haven't looked into modding. Maybe I should. Maybe, maybe I mean I'm sure modding's fun. Uh, but I don't know what I would do. Ultra night. That's it. Thank you. Uh, vacuum is is just the opposite of piston. How, how's vacuum? Vacuum. On use, the closest item below is pulled up, or is pulled towards it. I assume vacuum is rare. Meh, I mean, it's not bad. All right, I think... Uh, mod letter? No, you just... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have this game through Steam for whatever reason, I, I don't know how you get mods to work. If not through Steam. I don't know. No, it doesn't work anymore?
Transforms alternate use, not break <laughs> Okay, uh, but anyways, vacuum is like a piston. Well, I mean, yeah, vacuum is just piston, right? Yeah, no, you can do it through Steam Workshop. Yeah, you just go over to Workshop, you uh, find a mod that you like from the list, and then you just subscribe and Steam should take care of everything. That is true. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, we're almost done here. Uh, let's just, what is this, keg? My homie keg. I've never, I'm not a drinker. I, don't know, I know, I know you people in Europe have a different attitude towards drinking. Now, what's the drinking age over there in Italy? Like 16? Uh, let's see. Sign is heavy for two dollars. Create a drink. That's pretty good. It does take up four spaces at least. It does take up four spaces at least. So, I don't know. I like keg. Keg's pretty alright. Put like C tier. That just takes up a lot of space. Pandora's box. So this is the one that curses you. Pandora's box gives you great luck. Ten damage to all enemies. Creates a curse. Oh, wait, we got Wicker gameplay? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, is there a video you could link? You can link it to me on Discord, even? Yeah, Keg needs five spaces at least. That's a little rough. Pandora's Box. I always think Pandora's Box takes up more space, but no. Uh, but how does the curse from Pandora's Box work? Does this one give you a choice of which curse you get? Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's let's finish her up. Uh, okay, so keg keg is like eh, probably right closer to the bottom of C tier. Now why is masonry tools here? Uh, masonry tools is all right. It's like it's like a bottom of A. I don't know why I put masonry tools there. You can't skip the curse like normal ones. It forces you to destroy stuff. Oh yeah, I, I hate how inconsistent the cursing is. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll put probably Pandora's box down here. Well, is it F tier? Since it might be actively detrimental if it gives you like a huge one. I don't know, maybe we put an F tier. But the great luck, the 10 damage. All right, I guess they're better set with other items. And finally, the spool. Nope, not F tier. <laughs> spool is all right. You'd probably rather have a piece of armor. But like, I mean, it is uncommon. That's kind of too much to ask for. On the wiki. All right, I'll check that out. Anyways, for now, I know a lot of you. I don't know. It's late for a lot of y'all. Right, gently worse than just another piece of armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. That's, that's like a D tier. Hello. Hello. Oh, so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. You, you arrived too late, my friend. Uh, the stream is about to wrap up here, but thank you. Thank you for stopping by, nonetheless. Uh, but yeah. Probably we, we we just about finished up. Let me give a cursory. Uh, why is there no scroll wheel? What the fuck? Why can't I? There's no scroll wheel. On this on this page. Just for the fun season, I gotta get going. Unfortunately, I must be going. But here, hold on. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, is this gonna open? No. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you know what? We could peek quicker. Here we go. I think I just gotta put up a new tab. There we go. Is it, do you guys see that? Yeah. Oh, is this a video? Oh, look at Wicker. Oh, a red panda. I love a red panda. Just came out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you not? Are you, this uh, Pandora's box F tier item for me definitely a lot worse. Yeah. There we go. But look at Wicker. Oh, it can't. Hey. Oh, Wick, hold on. Wicker gameplay. Here we go. You guys get to see my my YouTube page. Uh, what? Oh, oh, oh. 
They're, they're spazzing out. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they went all out with this, huh? Holy shit. What the fuck? Accessory buds. Alright, 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 alright. All right. I'll, I'll watch the. I, I got it. How long is this video? Seven minutes? Okay. Alright. Unfortunately, we gotta go. Uh, but thank you guys for stopping by regardless. Here's another look at the tier list. Now, some things could be adjusted and refined, but for the most part, I feel happy with this. Uh, stay tuned next week. We'll probably do it another hour earlier, even. That'll be 11 a.m. Pacific time. Pacific Daylight Time specifically, God, I, I just feel so embarrassed whenever I have to say like Daylight Time or Standard Time, and and because of all the all the all the Europeans are gonna make fun of me for using AM and PM and and Fahrenheit. But anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. I'll, I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being seeing the channel. Thank you, you know, for everything. So yeah, take it easy, fellas. Don't hurt yourselves. Uh, be kind to your elders, I guess, and I'll catch you next time.